Welcome to Bikoff Medical Center, located in Maskasi and Sembabli Town Council. We have a dedicated team of health professionals ready to serve with love and care. We offer a wide range of services, a diagnostic laboratory, ultrasound scan, dent services, maternity and surgical services, physiotherapy, For more information, call us on 0759-54-1708, Masaka, and 0759-54-1703, Sembabli. Bikoff Medical Center, we treat good health. When you are sick, you need a good ambience to pick your medicines. Maogola Farmers is here for you as human medicines for both retail and wholesale found in Sembabule and Chiganga Z Town Council call us on 0200 908 184 Sembabule or 0700 577 241 Chiganga Z at Maogola Farmers we serve with care Uh, good evening, good evening my viewers, good evening my lovely viewers. Uh, I hope everyone is fine. Uh, those of you who are fasting, I hope uh, the fasting period is taking you very well. Uh, so welcome to my live today. Uh, ask Dr. Uthman uh, live both on uh, YouTube and TikTok. We are live. Sorry, today we've been a little bit late, uh, but uh, we are here. So. Let's uh, go straight away to the questions we are supposed to be answering. And uh, like I've, uh, I've always told you that we are always live on every Thursday at 19 hours East African time or uh, every Friday at 7 p.m. East African time. So always catch up our lives. And uh, if we don't answer your question, you can go to our YouTube channel. There are always very many videos. I have put several videos. Sometimes you may be asking something which I already talked about. So endeavor to always check on uh, our YouTube and find those videos. Sometimes, indeed, uh, the, the information is already there and you're asking for something which is already there. Secondly, for those of you who would like to have a private chat or a private conversation, in case you don't want your information to be public, go to my website and book an appointment. The website is www.drufman.com. Book an appointment so that we can have a one-on-one -on -one chat or um, we can have uh, a private conversation. Okay, uh, so let's straight away uh, go to the questions for today. Uh, there is this one, Rebecca Chirwa is saying, I did my period on 6th and end, and end of on 8th March, so when is my ovulation days? Now, Rebecca, you know, I've already said it here that we cannot tell you your ovulation day. We cannot know, even you yourself, you can't know your ovulation day unless you know the length of your menstrual cycle. So let us know the length of your menstrual cycle. It's the length of your menstrual cycle that gives us uh, the, that gives us, the, it's, we use the length of your menstrual cycle to do the calculation. To do the calculation so it's from that calculation that we can get your ovulation day we can get the fertile days and everything therefore rebecca chirwa you give us the length of your menstrual cycle then we shall be able to 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 calculate for you here live we shall calculate for you your fertile days and uh, we shall also give you the ovulation day 
Then we have uh, another question here. Shamara Reni Extensions is saying, if my implantation of bleeding, if my implantation of bleeding just stopped two days ago, how far along can I be? My appointment is next week. What do you mean by how far long can you be? I don't get the question clearly. How far long? What do you mean by how far long you, you, you should be? So get the question clearly, Miss Shamara. Chichi is saying, uh, Hell, Doc, uh, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, talk about chemical pregnancy. Oh, there is a video. I think uh, Kessberg reminded me. One of our next videos, we're going to talk about chemical pregnancy. This is a long topic. This is a long topic. And I promise uh, my next videos, they are going to be one, uh, uh, bleeding in pregnancy. What causes bleeding? Because many women out there can be bleeding. You, you, you're pregnant, but you see blood. You see spotting. So in the next video, we are going to be uploading a video concerning bleeding in pregnancy. What causes bleeding in pregnancy? How you can prevent it, the treatment, and so on. Then the next video after that will be concerning, uh, the next video will be concerning uh, chemical pregnancy. So I'll, I'll elaborate that. Just stay on our channel. We shall be giving you those uh, uh, that answer. Susan Ayuba is saying, good evening, doctor. Please, what is the right time to run a test of LH, FSH, prolactin, progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone? I've always said that you can do the test at any time. People have always, I think I've, I, I, this is something I've always been answering, especially those people who make uh, home book appointments. Uh, when you tell them to do a, fat, a fertility hormone assay, they will ask when should I go there, at what time. And I've also already seen uh, several guidelines saying you do the test on such and such a day, do the test on such and such a day. But I want you to know that we have reference ranges. And those reference ranges depend on the day you've, you, 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 you've seen, your, uh, the day you did the test. So if you did the test while having periods, it means we shall record it as... Uh, 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 the day for follicular development. Okay? If we record it on, 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 if you do the test on your ovulation day, we shall use the reference ranges for your ovulation day. If you do it during, when you, you're, you're done with your ovulation and you're about to enter your periods, we shall, we shall, we shall use the reference ranges for the, for, for, for the luteal phase. So any day is okay. Any day is okay for you to run a fertility hormonal assay. So do not wait. Most people fail, you know, fail to, to do these tests, okay? Uh, thinking that they are waiting for a certain, a certain day to do the test. Do the test on any day. We shall be able to use, the, to, to, to coordinate the results we've gotten depending on the reference, on the day you did and the reference ranges. So reference ranges are given in accordance to uh, to when you did the test. So don't worry, just do the test. Testimony is saying, um, how do you know you are carrying twin babies? <laughs> how do you know you are carrying twin babies? Uh, you can get to know, of course, let me tell you, there are very many signs. Number one is, uh, you know, usually a woman does, ha women have, uh, pregnant women have nausea and vomiting, okay? That one is known. However, there are times when this nausea, vomiting becomes too much, excessive vomiting. So, what we call uh, uh, hyperemesis gravidarum. So, hyperemesis gravidarum is one of the signs of twin pregnancy. So, when you experience hyperemesis gravidarum, which is excessive vomiting during pregnancy that should hint you to hint to you that probably you have multiple uh, multiple fetus there then number two is a uh, uh, berry size bigger than the weeks of amenorrhea or bigger than the month you expect sometimes you may not you may not be exactly because these signs I'm, I'm talking about they are not so specific okay but when you, for example, when you come to the hospital and we measure your, your fund height, okay? Fund height, when I think most of you who have gone to, who have, been, who have ever been pregnant and went to the hospital for antenatal, you've seen a midwife or your doctor putting their hand onto your belly and they measure, they, put, they use these fingers to measure the weeks of amenorrhea or to measure how many months you, are, you have, okay? The, the, to measure the, 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 the uh, the maturity do, to measure how old the pregnancy is. Now we use these fingers to, to, to the, each finger designates depending on where you've pressed it, but it can designate a plus two, 
uh, weeks or it can designate a minus one week depending on where you press them either above or below the amber like us now we know that if if your if your fetus if the baby is 20 weeks we are supposed to calculate 20 weeks the fingers have to show us when we are palpate that they are 20 weeks when they are 28 weeks we are supposed to say, but if we find that when you palpate you find that the woman is in 30 weeks by palpation by touching however the actual weeks when you look at the length or when the woman last had periods you find it is around 24 or 23 then that is uh, something that can signify to you all that can hint to you that this woman is, is having multiple pregnancy so th that is another sign uh, so baby size then uh, uh, hyperemesis gravidarum but uh, but the, 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 the what can confirm to you is the ultrasound scan so what ca confirms uh, what uh, gives you the final is the ultrasound scan when you do a scan it will show you two babies one baby or no baby so uh, we continue with uh, these questions we have uh, Oh, questions are flowing in there are many questions many questions but we shall fi find a way of uh, answering all of them um aisha nachi hello doctor it isn't bad to swear of it it oh huh. nachi actually saying hello doctor it isn't bad to swell face hands and feet during pregnancy and additional weight I don't, are you saying that uh, you're trying to find out whether it is okay, it is normal to swell the face, hands, and the feet? Now, let me tell you, some women do swell, okay? Do swell, especially the feet. But when, uh, uh, but that usually happens in late stages, though this should be moderate. We, we don't expect that severe swelling, which is uh, severe, we can call it severe swelling, and especially when swelling goes to the to, to the face, then there may be a pathology, and that one calls for uh, tests. So, if you swell, you you've swollen the feet, the feet, you're swelling every body part, including the face. Then you are supposed to do some tests, and you're supposed to do a renal functional or a renal function test and uh, and uh, liver function test. You may be having a pathology somewhere. You may be sick. You may have a, a, a kidney injury or anything of that sort. So. Uh, don't take it for granted when you swell you have to go to the hospital and they confirm that that swelling is a normal swelling in pregnancy or it's abnormal there is an underlying pathology okay 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 we have uh, We have another question here. It's coming from who? Okay. Shafit. Uh, Shafit. Hi, Doc. I booked a private conversation, but up to till now. Uh, uh, Shafit, when did you... Can you please uh, send, us, uh, send us your details on this number? I'm going to read it for you. But please, the number I'm going to read for you guys, do not use it uh, for, for, for anything. We are just going to clarify on what Shah's feet is talking about. So, where is the other number? So, you're going to send uh, the details. Shafit, if you're still around, send your details. Uh, send the, the, I know you, know you know what to do. Take the screenshot and send us that evidence. We'll see if uh, probably they missed you. The number is uh, plus 256. I read it for you, plus 256, plus 256, plus 256, 750, 750, 777, 877, 875. Please, uh, this, I'm reading this number for only one person who is having this challenge. Uh, that is Shah's feet. Please uh, send those details on this number, plus 256, 750, 000, 000, You'll be... Uh, your issue will be rectified. Probably there is uh, a problem somewhere. Uh, they will, you'll be sorted. 
Then Shamara Ren X uh, extension is saying it's 25th, it's Feb 5th, my cycle. No, you say, Shamara, we are asking for the length of your menstrual cycle. It is, the, I don't know if you don't, I think you're not understanding what I'm saying. We, the length of the menstrual cycle, it's like the number of days in between. The number of days in between your cycle. Okay? If you saw periods today, the number of days between the time you saw periods and when you, re, when you receive periods again. That is what we do. We, we, that is what you use. So, but if you're not getting it, go to my YouTube, check a video which is saying how to calculate my safe days, fertile days, ovulation days, ovulation day in an irregular menstrual cycle. Put how to calculate my safe days, fertile days, ovulation day in an irregular menstrual cycle. In that video, I talked about that and I think you'll get uh, <coughs> a, 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 it's the answer there. Then uh, Stella, okay, this uh, Shamar is saying, I'm saying, how far along can I be? Testimony is saying, how do you know you are carrying a male child without a scar? Uh, now, those will be speculations, seriously, because all signs, I've seen, I've seen many people uh, on, on, on social media, I've seen on, on Google and so on, people writing uh, the signs of a male child and so on, but trust me, we don't have clear signs of a male child. You cannot be pregnant and, and, and have signs and feel like, ah, you know, this is a male child. That is just, it's just by chance, okay? By chance that there are some signs you're seeing, and then at the end of the day, you, you, for you predict this is a male baby, this is a female baby, and at the end of the day, it's the baby you've produced, and then you end up saying, uh, but, but that is purely by chance. So we don't have clear, scientifically, there are no clear signs of carrying a certain uh, sex of a child. So it's, uh, it's all about... Uh, it's all about doing an ultrasound scan, and that's when you can know the sex of your baby. Uh, Solomon Makina, doctor, I am two months pregnant. Which month can I go to scan? scan scanning can be done any time. Even when you conceive in, 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 in just one month, you can do a scan. You can do a scan at any time of your choice. When you get pregnant, by the way, this is something I also need to talk about. When, you, when a woman gets pregnant, they feel like, I know when you overdo scans, you, the baby gets problems, you know these scans are dangerous. And I think there are many of you who think that scans are dangerous. You know, I think you're still using the other rudimentary knowledge of, uh, of high school, where they are saying eh, radiations. Eh? <laughs> that, you know, when you do, when you're exposed to radio, eh, radiations, you, you reduce your age. Eh? I hear you die, uh, you, you die faster, you, you die early, you die before your time. I, I, those funny, funny stories were there. I think they were in high school when we were studying, in, when we were in physics, and uh, we were start teaching us about radiology, exposure to radio, what, and so on, those other. But a scan, if you hear, the, if it, it's, when we are talking about when the scan, it's, uh, we use what they call ultrasound ultrasound and those of you in the tech world Kessberg, i think you understand ultra ultra means something very tiny very small it uses the smallest i don't know the the tiniest particles they are ultra okay if you want to say something is extremely small you can say it is ultra okay? so it's like it in other words we use those small sounds and with an natural sound, the way you hear the word sound, it uses sounds, okay? So we don't have, ra the radiations, they are ultra, very, very minimized, and therefore there is no harm in doing an ultrasound scan. There is no harm, I will say it, I repeat it, there is no harm in doing an ultrasound scan on both the fetus and the mother. Okay. Oh, questions are flowing in. There are really very many, but I will try. Me, I get a lot of pain. People say it's, uh, who is this angel? is saying, me, I get a lot of pain. People say it's like I'm um, to give birth, but only cramps. I even fail to work. What do you mean? Yeah, we, I'm not getting your question. Maybe you ask something up. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Testimonies here. Doc, please, when is the right time to start antenatal? 
Antinato is started immediately as early as you confirm that you are pregnant. As early as you confirm that you are pregnant. For you, when you confirm that I am pregnant, start antenatal care. Antenatal care is supposed to... You hear the word antenatal before the baby care. The care a woman gets before delivering. So it has no... You start as early as possible. And currently we call it goal-oriented antenatal care. Why is it goal-oriented? Every visit you make to the hospital and check a doctor has a goal. It has a target. Today we are going to talk to do this, to prevent this. We are going to do this to, to this time we are giving you folic acid to prevent neurotube defects, to prevent uh, spina bifida. Now we are giving you this to do this. We are giving you ABC to do this. So all visits for antenatal are goal oriented. And therefore, antenatal is meant to be started as early as you confirm that you are pregnant. Okay. Then we have uh, Faromo Ajok. Faromo Ajok is saying. Faromo Ajok is saying, uh, Hello Doc, I had a miscarriage in August last year, and since then I have been unable to get pregnant. I have been seeing my guy in a doctor, and he gives dates to meet with my husband, but haven't conceived. So you, saw, you, you had a miscarriage in August last year. August last year, that's how many months? August, uh, September, October, November, December, January, Feb, March. Do investigations, cut out tests to find out what the problem is because it's already past six months. Because be, to me, when it is below, before six months, we, can't, we, we, we may not uh, do interventions. So, but after, because when you reach six months, we call it subfertility. And therefore, we allow all we, it's now, it becomes time for you to start doing a test to find out what the problem is. So I encourage you to do tests to find out what the problem is. Go and do a fertility screening. Fauko, how are you and where are you calling from? Fau Conte. And be very loud. The, period, you, you, last, the last period was when? Be very loud. So 30th of Feb. 30th of Feb. Eh? 30th January. 30th January. Okay. All right. So let's count together. 30th of January, 31st January, then... 1st Feb, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, when did the Feb end? When did the Feb end? 29th. 29th. Okay. So that is for Feb. This is Jan and Feb. So we go to 1st March. 1st March. 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th. Today is the 14th, okay? So simple. 
Count the, na the days. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So it's uh, 45 days. You can, you can convert them into weeks. How many weeks are those? Eh? Eh? Sometimes some women take long to get symptoms. Some women take long, but uh, you can you can cut out a, an ultrasound scan. Okay. Cut out an ultrasound scan to confirm that uh, the baby is live. Okay. Is that all you wanted to ask? Okay. Hello, how are you and where are you calling from? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Barbara from Uganda, yes. What's the problem? The problem is I have some infections. You have some infections? Be loud and be fast, please. There are many people here. I have infection. I get some yeast. At first I could get some inch. I scratch myself down there and I get a lot of wounds. Then after... I was given some tablets. The inch stopped, but I still have infections even if I wash myself a hundred times. So, one, did you cut out tests? Not yet. You see, you can't treat something when you've not tested. Go and do tests. Do a urinalysis, take the right medicine. All actually, you should do a urinalysis plus a culture and sensitivity test so that you can take medicines that have been confirmed that they will cure the disease you're having. Okay. So do a culture and sensitivity test. Okay. All right, nice time. So we have uh, another person here is called uh, uh, Scovia Nantongo. I was operated two weeks back with a laparoscopy for tubes and fibroids. Can fibroids come back and when after surgery should I look for child? Uh, have, uh, planning for child after that surgery can be done as early as possible. As, as early as you confirm, the, uh, as early as the scars have healed, okay? And with the laparoscopy, you can do it as, uh, like, even as early as six months, you can start planning for child. So, but ab about whether they reoccur or not, there we can't be sure. We can't be sure. No one is sure. They can come back, though they can still get healed completely. So we can't be sure about that. Nakufua uh, Abraham is saying, Hi, Doc, I'm trying to conceive. I stopped taking the pills 15 months for after eight years on family planning. After eight years on family planning, what should I do now? I have irregular periods with little blood flow. Please help. Okay, so you're trying to conceive uh, for 15 months and you're not conceiving. What are you doing? Have you done a fertility screen? Go and do a fertility screen. Now that you even had family planning for that period of time, for 15 years, for, for eight years, it, you may find that, family, that those periods interfered with your hormones. So do a fertility hormonal assay to find out whether your hormones are normal, whether they are fine. Do the other full, I think you know what they call full fertility screen. Do a full fertility screen to identify your fertility potential. Okay, then we have... Uh, plan deus, 
Brother Davos is saying, my wife is uh, 29 years, has no kid, but has no more regular periods. We have spent eight months. So eight months looking for child. Now, is having no more periods alone doesn't guarantee that the person is fertile. There are some women with no more periods, but they are not fertile. Maybe the hormone, the hormone is responsible for periods are normal, but the other hormones are not okay. Maybe your level of luteinizing uh, uh, hormone that is supposed to cause ovulation is not fine. What if the tubes are blocked? What if you have masses in the uterus? So you need to run tests. This is what I've always talked about. Run a full fertility screen. Okay. Chichi is saying, I'm titis mom. Eh? I'm titis mom. Titis mom. I tried to take Clomid some time back. This month period came earlier than usual with clothes and uterine lining, but not pregnant. Painful back and abdomen. What could be the problem? Sincerely, I don't know why you're not able to conceive. I don't know why you're not able to conceive because I have not examined you. What I encourage you is to do an examination. Do a full physical uh, pelvic assessment, abdominal pelvic assessment. Go and do a full fertility screen. Let's find out what is stopping you from conceiving. Unless you, you, we've done tests to, ident to, to look at your fertility potential, the rest will be stipulations. There will be, uh, I think in the, yeah, there will be just stipulations. Dorin Timweva is saying, if one had preeclampsia in the first pregnancy at nine months, can it occur a bit earlier in the next? Yes, yes, I will say a big yes. Preeclampsia can reoccur, and uh, it, it can even occur early. As long as someone has reached 20 weeks, preeclampsia can occur. Chichi, do cysts grow back after surgery where they are removed the, and the, where they, re, they removed the tube and the ovary. Of course, if you've removed the tube and the ovary, where will it, where will it go? So if you had an ovarian cyst and uh, you've removed everything, then do not expect them to be back there because you've removed where they were supposed to hang, except maybe getting other cysts in other areas. Okay. Mujib, Mujib Adiwal Tijan is saying, Please, doctor, what can possibly make a woman a abdomen strong and always eh? what can make a woman abdomen strong and always painful whenever she is menstruation? Now, women can have painful menses. I won't say it's normal, but it is natural. Because <laughs> the other time I said uh, it's normal to have uh, uh, this menorrhea, it's normal to have painful periods and everyone will say, hey, really, this doctor is not merciful. So I, would, I wouldn't say, I, I can't say it's normal to have painful periods, but it is natural. I've, I've, I've always discussed, the, I discussed here the types of this menorrhea, types of mens, uh, painful menses. And uh, I said that, and I think those of you on YouTube, go and check on one of my videos. I discussed about painful periods. But this is, I, in, in a brief, I said there are two types. One is the primary and another one is secondary. Primary, the cause, uh, one, is maybe unknown. Two, it is as a result of hormonal fluctuations. And this is natural. This is what I'm calling natural. What happens is that someone starts painful periods from the word go, from menac, from the time you started seeing your periods, pain started up to now. That is primary dysmenorrhea. For secondary dysmenorrhea, someone never used to have painful periods, but along the way, 20 years, 30 years, after even some of them after even giving birth, pain, periods begin paining. Then that's when we call that secondary dysmenorrhea, all secondary painful periods. That one has a cause. Usually, we have a problem with the endometrium. We have a problem with the uterus. Okay? We have a problem with the uterus. Either 
uh, the uterus, uh, you have endometriosis, adenomyosis, you have PID. There are many, many diseases, pathologies that can be associated with painful periods. So, if your painful, if periods started paining you after some time, in, in, initially you never had period, period pain. But later on, after some years, after maybe you're now in your 30s, you're 28, and now periods are paining, then there is a pathology which you need to find out. I hope I'm very clear there. Uh, Mr. Park wants to come back. <laughs> Case. Yes. Mr. Park. You remember Mr. Park? <laughs> Mr. Park. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, another question. Invisible is saying, Hey Doc, I am a mother. Oh. Hey Doc, I am a mother of one child. I didn't take any contraceptive, but now it's two years. I'm still trying, but it failed. But my period length is changing every month. Hey doc, I am a mother of one child. I didn't take any contraceptive, but now it's two years and I'm still trying, but it's, it, it failed. But my period length is changing every month. What can be the problem? You're likely to be having hormonal fluctuations. That's likely to be hormonal fluctuations. Charity, Nathan, so it, that is a hormonal imbalance, so you need to do a fertility hormonal assay. Charity, Nathan is saying, I want twins. All right. So uh, I think uh, in one of my videos, again, I will always refer you to, because some of these things you're asking, they're already on my, uh, on my YouTube. So on my YouTube, I discussed about how to have twins. Uh, but what we do, there are medicines called the gonadotropins that can be given to a woman, okay, that can be given the, with, with time, with time, uh, depending on the length of your menstrual cycle, there are some medicines, for example, the tamoxifens of this one, the litrazo, can be given and you conceive twins. It is possible, it is possible, it is possible to conceive twins artificially. Uh, there are medicines we give and they are called gonadotropins. I hope Charity Nathan, you've gotten the answer. Okay. Okay. Then we have uh, Can you news Susan is saying good evening Good evening doctor I tried to conceive but failed And I'm not ovulating doctor What can I do because I got Oblated over is it possible for me To take clomiphene and if possible How many grams now I will not Allow you I will not Advise you to take clomiphene unless you've carried out tests and confirmed that the problem you have is as a result of clomiphene, not having clomiphene. Because per se, clomiphene is used when you have low LHFSH. Clomiphene is a gonadotropin. So have you done a hormonal assay? Have you done a hormonal test and found that you, you have a problem with, uh, with luteinizing hormone or follicostimulating hormone? Is it the reason? Because you see, uh, I, I, I've always explained here that the problem we are having currently, and the reason as to why we have very many cases of infertility, women are failing to get pregnant, it's because, partly it's because of us doctors. Someone comes, I, uh, tells you I've taken long without conceiving, it's now 20 years, it's now uh, 15, 10 years, and then you just give them medicines, take clomiphene. What is it going to do? What, I've also heard stories, women telling me, I went to the doctor, the doctor said, my eggs are far. Eh, 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 eh. This is an abomination. How can eggs far from where? Naturally, eggs all of the eggs are supposed to be in the ovary. There is nothing like they are far. What I can accept is that the eggs have diminished. All the eggs are immature. But they can't be far. And someone tells you that before even doing tests, we talk about diminished eggs and so on when we've done an AMH, anti murrelain hormone test. When you've done probably a transvag or what we call antro count, you do a transvaginal ultrasound scan to do the antro count to count the number of eggs in left in the in the ovary. But someone, yeah, I'm taking. You find people take. I'm taking clomid because my eggs are fat. fat. Wait, are they in the head that you're now transferring? 
that, that, that you're now uh, transferring them from the head because the head is far away from the uterus. You're transferring the, the eggs from the head to the uterus. So these are all misnomers. These are lies. Eggs cannot be far. Eggs can only be found in the ovary, which is very near the uterus. Very near the uterus. They're just near there. So the problem as to why someone may not be conceiving is may be different. Either you have blocked tubes, all the eggs are not maturing, all the eggs are finished, they are diseased, you have masses, you have infections in the tubes, infections in the uterus, all the hormones are not balanced, you have low progesterone, you have high levels of prolactin, which is called hyperprolactinemia. Those can be the reasons as to why someone may not be conceiving, but not saying that the, 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 the eggs are far, far, far from where, far from where. Then, um, okay, then we have... Uh, Shani, hi doctor, my period was on 19th September. How many weeks is the pregnancy? I think I've done, I've, I've, I've done it here. I've demonstrated. Do the same, okay? If you are alive, just do the same. Just write the number of days. If you had periods on 19th, start counting the number of days from 19th up to the day. Get the, the number of days, divide by, uh, by, by 7, though you'll, be, you'll have the, the weeks you're carrying. I don't know. What I'm saying, do go to uh, count the number of days, 19th September. So count the number of days, say 19th September, write 19th, 20th, uh, eh, up to end of September, start o October, start December, start January, Feb, and then March up to 14th. Count the number of days from that day. And then those number of days divided by seven, you have the weeks of amenorrhea. Shafi, uh, Chichi, my period ended three days ago, but I still have PMS stroke, uh, postmenopause stroke uh, symptoms. Yeah, three days ago, three days is not a, is not a long time. Yeah, you can, you can as well still be having some signs. Shafit, okay, doc, thanks. I reach out. You miss my question on endometrial hyperplasia. Endometrial thickness was 22 millimeters on cycle day 11. Is it treatable? Endometrial hyperplasia is fairly treatable, but uh, we, it, is, it is not treated in isolation. Uh, it is treated after doing uh, also the fertility hormone assay. So, yes, I can say it is treatable and uh, someone can conceive with it, but a lot of tests have to be done uh, for, 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 uh, for for it to be treated very well and for someone to gain something from the, from the results. Then we have uh, Brenda Kabombeka is saying, Hi doc, I had a blighted ovum in May and was aborted. Went for hormonal acid in December and hyperlactin. So you finish up your question, it's not clear. Okay. Uh, Mirabel Hamilton, hell doc, I am 47 years old, I have 28 regular pre period, came mild premenopause symptoms, can I still get pregnant? Now at 48 years and if periods have started, you know, misbehaving, you may not be able to get pregnant naturally, but artificially it can be made, it can be done. So there are tests that can be done and you're given fertilizers, okay? <laughs> You can be given medicines to, to, to enable you to conceive. So it is possible, but after interventions have been done. Then we have, uh, uh, we have uh, Melania Zulu. Good evening, doctor. Is it true that taking folic acid can help to conceive? No. You see, folic acid is just stimulate because some people have a problem. You have uh, blocked tubes and you want to take folic acid. So the issue is not all about taking folic acid. First, identify what, what the problem is. Folic acid should just be uh, a, a, should just be an additive. Okay, you should, you should just take it to just increase the productivity of your reproductive system. Yes, Charity Nathan, how are you and where are you calling from? We we'll start with you. I'm good, how are you, Charity? Long time. Doctor, I want twins. I'm calling from Masaka. 
You're calling from Masaka. You want twins. There are some medicines I've, I've discussed about. They are called gonadotropins. Gonadotropins can be used uh, if someone wants to get twins. You time them uh, depending on the type you've used and the length of your menstrual cycle. You can take them and conceive twins. It's possible. And doctor, I think now it is the time I get pregnant again. After this section. You had a cesarean section. Where do you have speed? Now eh. You, <laughs> you had a C-section from our hospital. Okay, so if it's 18 months, then it is okay. You can conceive again, no problem. Okay, I'll mm. come there and I remove the family planning. You, you are, okay. You, which method had you inserted? Family planning, the other one, the other you gave me. I don't know you. <laughs> you know I don't remember you, but anyway, fine, it's okay, okay. you'll come. <laughs> Eh, Nabu Macharite. Mm. All right, I remember. All right, it's fine. You'll come, we take it out, and you conceive. Thanks for following. Okay, All right. Okay, so let's see Bakita 7. Bakita 7, how are you and where are you calling from? I'm calling from South Sudan. Yes. Thank you. What's the problem and be faster? Uh, I have four years now, I never conceived, but uh, my period is changing within one. I don't know what is the problem. You I see doctor, they say there's no problem, they did a very check, but they say you are okay. Now, do you believe it, that you're okay? I don't, I don't. Of course, you can't be okay and you spend, you spend four years without conceiving. That is not possible. Either you are not okay or your husband, your spouse is not okay. So one of you must be having a problem. I can't believe that also. I can't believe you can't fail to conceive in four years and there is no problem. So I would implore you to do, to, to cut out what they call full fertility screening. When you do fertility screening, you will be able to know where the problem is and then treat it. Okay, Is that all you wanted to ask? All right, thank you so much and have a lovely evening. So we got another question here. It's from uh, uh, Doctor, what is the best OTC medicine for UTI? Now you see, a UTI, some, I, most times I not be telling you the medicines to, to, to use while treating, especially these infections, because this is now causing resistance. When someone uh, gets some signs and they feel like they are they're having a UTI, they want to go to the, to the pharmacy and buy tablets and buy medicines. And they, you'll find that the symptoms will subside and again they come back. They still buy more medicines, buy more medicines. In no time, you're not getting rid of infections every time you're having infections, every time you're treating. What we advise is that you first test. Please first test. UTI medications are not over-the-counter drugs. They are not. They are prescribed on a drugs. Why? Because they are supposed to be prescribed after doing tests, after confirming that it is the medicines you need. Sometimes you're talking about a UTI when it is actually uh, not a UTI. Some women have vaginal candidiasis. Candidiasis. Vaginal candidiasis and they are claiming to be having UTIs and they are taking antibiotics for UTIs. Some have chlamydia. You have a chlamydia and you're taking drugs for, for, you, for UTI. Some have trichomoniasis and they are taking drugs for UTI. Some, so yes, others may be having truly, they may be having a UTI, but it is severe to an extent that you are supposed to take uh, parental medications or IVs. So what I'm trying to say is that you need to do tests to first confirm exactly what the problem is. And if possible, you also do a culture to find out the right medicine for your so-called infection. Uh, this is uh, okay. 
user 2523 something is saying please doc i can racers change with my two pregnancies i had positive but with the third is negative no <laughs> this is genetic if your racers factor positive you remain racers factor positive throughout life if you're negative you remain negative then that means one of the tests was wrong either the, the other first uh, test you did all this one is wrong so go and do a, a, a confirmatory test from a, another laboratory okay salon saloon electronics my wife have a big challenge of conceiving then she hasn't conceived received periods for five months i'm from kenya now that is a very big challenge of course when you've not conceived when you when you're having amenorrhea for a period of five months you are likely to be having a hormonal challenge that's uh, something uh, that is what we call hormonal imbalance okay so you're likely to be having hormonal imbalance or fibroids what is my advice again go and do a fertility hormonal assay and probably do a full fertility screen let the woman uh, do those tests but also you you should also do tests you change button so you should also do tests okay even you yourself as uh, as a man you should also do tests and the when tests you we encourage sick, you to do is to do semen a good analysis or what they call sperm medicine. analysis when you do sperm analysis you will be able to identify for you. what the uh, which medicines as human you medicines can take for can both retain bring and about sale. labor yes Yes. Found in Zimbabwe. Yes. And Chiganga Zikaun can about labor can press. Call us on 0200908184 Zimbabwe. Uh, oh 0700 I have an on my right at Mogola Farmers. We serve with care. Right side of the stomach. By the way, let me first teach you this. <laughs> Uh, are we back on YouTube? We've lost you people on YouTube, but we are coming back shortly. Shortly, shortly, shortly. Uh, in meanwhile, my uh, IT technician is working upon the issue. We're having a... a, 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 a a clinch a technical glitch on uh, our youtube is working on it and we are going to resume in a second thank you so we are back all right and that is case bag it.next search him search him on uh, his youtube channel all over it's it.next run by a man case bag himself so uh the question here is uh, doctor i think we are back thank you thank you case bag it.next search for it.next <laughs> So I have a on and off pain on my right side of the stomach. What is the cause? I was saying that when you are when you have pain here that we shall not call that pain in the stomach. At least for you my viewers, for you people who are always in my class, when you have pain, please stop calling it stomach pain. Eh? When you have pain around here. Here. Please stop calling it stomach pain. That is not the stomach. That is the abdomen. At least for you guys that I usually teach here, please do not be shame me. You don't call it stomach pain. It is called abdominal pain. Okay? Because the, 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 this is the abdomen and it contains many things. One of the items in the abdomen cavity is the abdominal cavity. It's the stomach. So every time someone gets abdominal pain they are talking about stomach pain but the stomach is only on the left side that upper part if you look at the umbilicus the umbilicus all the, um, the umbilicus divides the abdomen into two now the upper part on the, the left upper part the left upper part is where we find the stomach so that is the only part here it's the only part for the stomach here this part here we have the liver okay and then down here we have kidneys etc so when someone feels abdominal pain they will say i have stomach 
pain but that is not stomach pain at least for you people who are always watching my my, uh, my 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 videos please differentiate that it is not stomach pain you call it at least call it abdominal pain now when you have abdominal pain on the right side that part has the liver what is there is the liver Therefore, you need to find out whether you have a problem with your liver. I would implore you to do an ultrasound scan and also do LFTs or liver function tests to find out what the problem is. There is the liver and also the other parts, the other para, the parts that are surrounding the liver, like the gallbladder and so on. Salma Baha, how are you and where are you calling from? Be very loud. You have you have serious period pain. How old are you, Salama? I'm um, 23, sir. 23. When did you start your periods? Oh, more than years now, sir. More than years. Was uh, so the time you started periods. Did you have those pains or pains developed later? Yes, sir. Did you have those pains initially when you were starting your periods as a child? So that is uh, now that is that is what I've been talking about. It is primary dysmenorrhea or primary periodic pain, and it is a, it is it is as a result of a natural cause, which is a problem with your hormonal fluctuations. That one is not curable. I must be sincere with you. Do not expect a medicine that will cure that because it is primary dysmenorrhea. What you are supposed to do is to take pain medications, especially NSAIDs. So you can take medicines like ibuprofen, and when ibuprofen fails, you can buy medicines called mephenemic acid. When they fail, you can take transenemic acid. Those are the medicines. But at times, you may not take medicines and do some natural measures to relieve the pain. For example, you can boil water, okay? When you boil water, you put it in a bottle like this. Okay, now this is what I want you to you guys to learn the natural way of trying to relieve the period of pain. Put water, hot water, in a bottle, and then put it below your abdomen. Okay, oh, put it below your abdomen. Put it below, just below your below your umbilicus, that level there, uh, be, between uh, between that bone that is down and your umbilicus, that part there. Put, that's where you should put the bottle, which is having hot water, and then it bend up front. Like you sit on, uh, on, on, on your bed and bend up, uh, up front like this, that uh, you have relieved the pain. Also, taking that warm water, and plus taking some, uh, some painkillers. That's when you'll get rid of that pain. However, it cannot be cured. That is to be sincere. All right, uh, thank you for calling and have a lovely evening. So we have uh, more questions here. Uh, this one is saying, uh, Mirabel Hamilton, hell doc, I am 47 years old. I have, uh, I think for you I've answered you. Uh, all these ones I've answered them. I have answered them. I have answered them. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Joy, Joy Ray is saying, and the problem started like three years after I started my periods. Which problem are you talking about? Joy Ray, I also get very serious cramps. What can I do? I think I've already explained. I think you learn from what I've explained to Salma 
and then get to know what to do. And for those of you who would like to have a private chat, a private conversation with me, just go to my website, www.drothman.com, book an appointment, because I know some of you want to ask questions, but you want to be private, you don't want everyone to get to know what you're asking. So you go to uh, Google, type in www.drothman.com, book an appointment, we shall have a private chat with you. And also those of you who have issues with your IT, with your computers, with your, you want CCTV cameras, you want CCTV cameras, you want your social media to work, how handling your social media, YouTube and so on, check a channel, it's called IT.next. Why am I telling you about this channel? I am passionate about it because it is being run by a man behind my camera here and that is called case back from it.next so please check out his channel it.next subscribe ask him questions he's very good he'll answer you questions concerning it the way i answer you questions concerning uh, medicine thank you so much uh, it has been a nice audience today uh, thank you so much for joining my live uh, let's meet next week same time at exactly 19 hours east african time all at 7 PM. Let's be live again on YouTube and TikTok. Thank you so much and have a lovely evening. God bless you. Sign out. When you are sick, you need a good ambience to pick your medicines. Maogola Farmers is here for you. Has human medicines for both retail and wholesale. Found in Zimbabwe and Chigangazi Town Council. Call us on 0200-908-184, Zimbabwe, or 0700-577-241, Chigangazi. At Maogola Farmers, we serve with care. Welcome to Bikoff Medical Center, located in Maskasi and Sembabli Town Council. We have a dedicated team of health professionals ready to serve with love and care. We offer a wide range of services, a diagnostic laboratory, Ultrasound scan, dent services, maternity and surgical services, physiotherapy, information call us on 0759-54-1708 Masaka and 0759-54-1703 Sembabli. Bikoff Medical Center, we treat good heels.